Hey, what is up guys? It's Nate. Um, I'm just gonna do a redo on my uh, Xbox 360 controller, which I um, actually put trigger stops in. I put trigger stops and PS3 thumbsticks, or PS2, don't know which one it was, I don't remember. But I'm gonna just redo this and uh, show you guys how to open it, since my other one was actually really bad quality. And I actually am using my iPhone but I got a tripod so it's actually stable so yeah this actually I'm sorry um this is a T8 screwdriver don't me don't I'm not sure you can look it up online I'll have it in the description actually tell you guys which one it is but I'm pretty sure it's a T8 so yeah there's a screw right here right here right here right here right here and right here and then you take off the battery pack and there's a screw right if I can focus in right there there's a sticker here you have to take it off or you can just make a hole but this will void your warranty also to let you guys know this um, if you guys break your controller or anything I'm not responsible for it so yeah but here is a um, another screw so yeah I'm going to take those out now. Okay, so I took out the screws, and uh, as you can see, I have two screws here, but those aren't on normal controllers because those are my ghetto trigger stops. Um, but yeah, you can just lit. Well, remember, have this part facing down when you open it, so none of the buttons or anything fall off, and then it just come off. So keep all the screws and stuff in a safe place because you don't want to lose those. Okay, so um, you can take out the take out the rumbling packs, the rumble packs, and put those, hang those off if you want. I haven't actually, I've never tried taking them off, but yeah. So just this is actually hard for me, so I'm gonna skip this part and take this out. Since it's harder for me, since I have PS2 or PS3 uh, thumbsticks on them. So, yeah, let me just take this out. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I took out the thumbsticks and everything. They're off to the corner. of. You should see them, like, right to the side over here. Screws and stuff. And, uh, so, what you have to do is, um, take off this, this gray thing, put that to the side, take off the D-pad one, put that to the side, take out the buttons. I like to do it one by one, so I don't have them all falling out like that. Put those to the side. Take off the Xbox home button, and then this part should come off if it and put those to the side okay so I'm gonna go get a Phillips oh and also wait let me take these this part off so this just comes off you if you want to paint this you could just it just comes off and to put it back on just uh put those line those up and put it on so yeah that part comes off this you could just pull off just like the top part that comes off. Okay, so I'm going to get a Phillips screwhead, uh, screwdriver, whatever it's called, so I can take these two out. There's two screws here, I'm pretty sure. Two screws, yeah. So two screws to take out the D-pad. Oh, what was that? Oh, don't forget to take out the start and select button. Buttons. I don't know. Okay, so you need a Phillips head screwdriver to take off these two right here. So, yeah, I'm going to go find one, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I found one, and uh, I'm actually, I didn't, I didn't find one that was small enough to get this out, but I think you can use a flathead, so, but I just got a tech deck, see if I can focus, okay, I guess I can't see from there, but yeah, I found a uh, tech deck, looks better there. Okay, so I found a tech deck, 
screwdriver thing. I know that would work because I've tried that before. All you have to do is take out these two screws here. And I will speed this up. Speed this up or cut it out so I can take out these. My D-pad wouldn't come out. Um, so my, uh, my screws were all messed up so it wouldn't come out. So here there are some clips like here and here there's some clips that you can uh like mess with and then they take out they come out the d-pad you pull it off and that's it so yeah this was a disassembly on my xbox 360 controller i will be uploading uploading a assembly so you guys can put it back together when you guys are done with whatever you're doing so yeah see you guys in the next video bye